everybody, it's um, Deanna from Phantasma Paranormal and for this session that I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do a tarot reading which I've already um, done my tarot spread of the reading that I want to do. This is called the Ouija board tarot spread. Um, I have it divided into the minor uncana and the major uncanas which correspond to the reading I'm about to do. Um, I also have the, the portal already set up. I put it on the settings. I also have my... Oh, it's going off. I have my EMF readers, so... Hopefully I can get some communication while I'm doing the tarot reading. Um, the reason I come up with this idea was because... Um, recently Jack did a video in Conspirates Predict the Future um, so I thought do you know what, I might do one a bit similar um, and do one with tarot cards and hopefully by doing this reading spirits can communicate with me and use my energy while I'm doing this reading oh it's going off again so it's going to be a bit hard for me because I've actually got to try and multitask of what I'll do. The tarot cards, I've got to hold the camera. Um, so yeah, right. So I'm going to begin with the tarot reading. Okay, hi spirits. I've had you set up for a while, so I take it there are spirits present with me right now. Would you be able to communicate with me? Would you be able to help me in this tarot reading? Why? Um, because it would be good to get some answers from the future. So hopefully you could help me. I'd really appreciate it. We're trying to figure out if spirits can predict the future. Is that true? Can you help me with this tarot reading? Could you bring my loved ones forward? Could you bring my spirit guides? forward into this session. Okay, right, I'm going to begin with the tarot session. Bear with me. Right, so I've got the uh, A, B, so I'm going to whisper so you can hear what they're trying to say through the portal. Okay, so I've got A, B, C, D, D and E, which are from the, they're from the major arcana. So I'm going to start with A. Okay, number A. This card represents the past, the beginning of a situation, the quarant wishes to clarify, or else represent an interior. What is keeping a situation blocked or stagnant? And this is card A. Oh my god, that's so weird. <laughs> the... I can't even pronounce that. I don't know. Maybe you can pronounce it. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so, as you can see, this has got the actual Ouija board. 
which is very strange. So if I go to Okay, so with this card, it says the, um, the Hierophant in this case fully indicates his personal role as a mediator, a bridge capable of connecting what is above and what is below, what was with what will be, the wisdom that comes from our ancestors and from the collective consciousness they created freely flows in this mature figure capable of communicating clarifying helping and protecting as well as bringing and attributing an idea to our actions he becomes particularly negative however whenever fantasism takes the upper hand transforming his figure into a false and intolerant guru um, so this is in reverse, so this is kind of um, the negative aspects of this card. Um, it's it's kind of like the polar opposite of what all the, they're going off again. So that's what this means. Okay, right, I'm going to go into... Okay, right, so uh, card B, this card in defies, identifies the present situation, the development of the conditions about which a request for clarification is made, and that will provide information regarding how to observe the current movement. And with this card, I actually got the tower, and it is also in reverse. Okay, this is a tower. Something that you have been opposed to for probably a long time is about to emerge, explode and open itself to the world. The tower, therefore, is a living construction, overcrowded and teeming, exposed, to do, do, exposed due to a sudden change that will alter the balances. And those orientations I direct and directions, therefore, could seem to become confused or overturned. It could be difficult to go against the current and against common opinion. But this is how illumination will arrive. Otherwise, it will be a violent separation that will win. And it an expulsion that will bring with it crisis imbalance and the worst case a true catastrophe uh, my spelling is quite bad <laughs> so that is this card this is what it's, this is what this card means okay right i'm going to go to number card c See, this card represents the future, the conclusion of the entire situation, or the balance that will be achieved. And with this one I got a reverse again, and this is judgment. This card is uh, Judgment. The master of the four elements, judgment calls, and from above in a loud voice, a powerful and important renewal. The birth of a new 
coincides a new family, a reawakening, and the liberation of something that we kept close and isolated. This card represents a call to express our vocation, but also to discover, to evaluate, or to be evaluated and judged. When a negative side prevails, it will bring about consequences such as fear of failure, infantile behaviour, crisis and insecurities that will tempt us to remain close within a coffin, which we are called upon to leave. So that was judgment. So now, A, B, C, D. So I'm going to go to number D. Tell me then. Okay, so D. This card represents what is to our advantage our strong points to use and to, per to persevere with plus which comes to our aid or more generally an active influence and with this one I have got um, temperance in this card and it's also in reverse This card is protection, healing and circulation. It forces us to I can't just pronounce that word. M I T I G A T E. You can work that out. I'm really terrible at reading and spelling sometimes. To find the middle path and to add something valid. This is capable of um, placating to avoid traumatic cuts. Temperance is the arcana of adaption. We consolation and harmony where it is a, in cooperation that determines the birth of something new. Ready to spread out into the world. Whenever problems are raised, however, it will be a disorder and coldness that will take the upper hand, unsettle the balance and close off any kind of circulation or communication. Um, I can relate to that card pretty well. Um, so I'll go more into depth of that in a next video. Okay, right, so I'm on number I. No, E, sorry. It's E. Um, number E. This card represents what is our disadvantage, the weak points which we must be careful of and which we must remove ourselves from, the risks and res uh, or the receptive influences with which we can develop a new point of view. And with this card, I've actually got the, the hanged man and it's in reverse. So, I'm going to read that. Seems like these cards are telling me something. Trying to warn me about something, but... Obviously, it's quite hard to get in tune while you're holding the camera and while you're doing the whole um, session at the same time, so... Okay, the hangman. The hangman indicates a moment of pause, distance, meditation and preparation in order to think deeper and more profoundly about our projects, even facing some sacrifices. This in-depth search could occur in a passive manner by remaining receptive and willing to listen or to experiment. 
This card can also bring about a positive change of perspective, values or a new point of view and make us understand that perhaps this is not the right time to act or make a choice. In this degeneracy, it arrives at the situation of total block, of the inability to act in the face of negativity, doubts and secrets. So this is what the Major Ankana reading has um, spoken to me. So now I'm going to quickly cut off and I'm going to come back. Okay, right, so I'm back and I'm going to do the, um, the Minor Ankana. So um, this is separated in between. Uh, so if I go to it. Right, so I've got, obviously I just did my A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E, F. So this, G, right, this is F. So um, it is divided between F, which is the chalices, G, which is the pentacles, and H, which is the swords, and I, which represents the wands. Um, so now I'm going to go to the F, which represents the state of our emotional centre, our feelings, but also the influence of our memories. And just also reversed. Card is the Four of Cup. The number of stability united with this suit of emotions brings an access of security. Um, metonymous rigidity, rigidity. <laughs> and what is stagnant ends up rotting and tiring. Therefore it is good to find the right balance and transform the stagnation, the apathy and the boredom into harmony and a healthy restlessness. So that's what this card means. Okay, right. Okay, right. So now I'm going to go to the second one, which is G. Okay, so G is the uh, pentacles. This represents a state of our material centre, how much it is influencing our economic situation in this moment and our appearance and physical health. Okay, it's also reversed. I've got the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is an able and influence, influential figure, secure in herself and able to cope with the material world without problems, and from which she is abundantly rewarded. She is an ambitious woman who desires to always go higher, but for the fear of falling or failing risks remaining the victim of two uncertainties, hesitation or showing a vid and precautious behaviour. Um, I actually can relate to that card very well. Um, yeah, I will go more in depth with this later on in the second part. Okay, right, so H 
is Um, this card is actually from the sword, so I'll go. H. This card extracted from that represents a state of our mental centre, our thoughts, our intellectual activity, our ideas, and how we manage to communicate with the in external world. Oh, it's reversed again, and I have got the Five of Swords. A great inner conflict is affecting us and makes us feel humili humiliated. Fleeing and frightened seems to us to be the only ways to deal with the situation. It will only be through inquiring a new point of view and following a flow of the battle that will manage to determine this negative destiny, improving ourselves and exiting the crisis strengthened and enriched. So this one. The five of pentacles, no, five earth swords. Maybe. Okay, right, so I'm on my last card of the reading. I, okay, this card is the um, minor and corner of the ones representing the state of our creative center. The situation of our desires, our sexual satisfaction, and also how we manage to express and release our creativity. Oh, and it's reverse again. Okay, and this is, and I've got the uh, ten of wands. The transformation is now complete and the new being that has been created is ready to fly outside to the world, bringing with it success and creative and professional realisations. The Ten of Wands brings with it comple complexion, attraction, new experiences and only in the case of indeci indecision or doubts can it be transformed instead of into... Um, Oppression, obstacles, and betrayal. Okay, so this is a tarot reading that is now complete. Um, I just want to say thank you for, thank you, spirits, for this reading. Um, thank you for communicating with me. Thank you for guiding me and protecting me. Um, I really appreciate your help in this reading. I thank you to my my spirit guides, my loved ones, and hopefully in the future this tarot reading will speak some truth to me. Do you have any final messages you would like to leave me? Do you have any messages in regarding this tarot reading? Um, which card in this reading 
um, represents something about you. Do you believe that the tarot cards can predict the future? What do you think to this tarot reading that the fact that I've got all reversed so I'm shaking a little bit Okay, right, I'm going to I'm going to go off now. But I will speak to you in another session. I'm going to do a follow-up um after uh, me and Jack have edited the video so we can hear what you're saying. Do you have any final messages? Thank you very much for um, doing this tarot reading with me. I really appreciate all your help. I love you. I love you, spirits.